Welcome to this tutorial where you will be making a simple wet wax device. This is a container that would help to remove stains and liquids while preventing any water from entering and ruining your vacuum cleaner. You will need a container or thick bottle, preferably with some transparency. Do not use the thinnest kind of bottles as the wall might implode from the suction. You will need another hose in addition to the one that's already on your vacuum cleaner and also a small end piece to concentrate the pressure. This angled pipe came with a Bosch circular saw that I bought and helps to connect my vacuum cleaner to the can. If you don't have this kind of connector, a straight pipe could work as well. The PVC pipe I use is 40 mm in diameter and should connect the second hose. You might need to have a search to find something different that fits your hose. Then there are some tools, hot glue, sandpaper, carpet knife, a marker and some duct tape. To install my PVC pipe I will mark and cut a hole a little above middle in my container can. Here I did the mistake of marking the hose and not the pipe. So make sure that you actually mark the PVC pipe that you will be going to glue to the can. Now we need to cut down the pipe to about 15 centimeters or about 6 inches. Here I'm using a Japan saw which is great for all kinds of precise cutting, but even a bread knife could be used here. I'm now sanding the edges down a little bit and we'll start to work on the fitting. It's still a tad too wide so I will reduce it using some sandpaper and a sanding machine. I also used a hot gun to speed up the process. Make sure that you don't overheat and ruin your pipe. Now that the pipe fits snugly I can move on to the next step. Because I cut the hole a little too big I added some masking tape to extend the diameter. I used the masking tape just because it was a bit thicker than my other tapes and required less rounds. Then it was time to hot glue the pipe to the cam. Then I used the hot gun again to smooth out the glue. You can see the polypropylene can become overheated and started to melt. So I decided to cool it down with some water. Now it's time to mount the top connector. This was done simply with duct tape. I didn't use glue here because I might want to use this adapter for something else in the future. And finally it's time to take the converter to the test. I'm using a Dyson with a clear view to the dust bag, but if you don't have a transparent cleaner, make sure to test with some small amounts of water and open and inspect the dust bag to make sure that no water can get through and ruin your cleaner. All the water is efficiently sucked into the container. Now let's inspect the Dyson to see if there is any water inside. And as you can see, no water got through to the Dyson, so we can now start using it as a tool. These car seats are pretty stained, so I would like to give them a good clean. I start with some water, then I am applying a car seat cleaner before working it in with a sponge. Lastly, the water is sucked out with my new tool. And as you can see, the car seats now looks great. Looking at the water that comes out, you can see where all that dirt went. And that's how you make the wet whack tool. If you have any questions or comments, I would be happy to answer them in the comments field. Thanks for watching.